Most days I find getting my workouts in more difficult rather than easy and exhausting rather than exhilarating. I also find that most days it's easier for me to focus on what I wish I could change about my body rather than appreciating all it can do. And I know that I'm not the only one that feels like living healthy sometimes can feel like a fight to swim upstream rather than a relaxing float down the river. But here's the thing. After eight years of working out and finally becoming a certified personal trainer, I've learned a thing or two about staying on track and staying the course of a healthy lifestyle. Maybe you're feeling lost and confused, like it's actually impossible for you to stay on track because you get tripped up over discouragements or not seeing results as quickly as you'd like, or maybe you simply just can't find motivation. I just wanna say that I have been there and I think most of us have, and so that that's why I wanted to do this video today to encourage you, to equip you, to help you to get on track, to stay on track, and to help you stop tripping over the things that trip you up. So let's talk about first and foremost, motivation. All right, I already know that you know that working out is hard, but I know that you're also aware of something that's much harder. You know, holding the last 10 seconds of a plank is challenging. But what's even more of a challenge sometimes is just getting yourself to the gym in the first place. You know, it's not that our bodies won't do a burpee or run a mile or hold a squat. We can all do those things. And yes, they're difficult, but the bigger problem here is that our mind stops us from even trying to do those things before we can even get to the gym. So what's really the problem here? I think that you already know, motivation is not a physical battle, but a mental one. When we see people who consistently work out, it's easy to assume that they're just born that way with motivation already inside of their blood. But the secret sauce of their success is not their ability to just feel motivated all the time, but rather their ability to be unafraid to perform poorly and to show up every single day. You see, doing imperfectly does not discourage them from persisting. Enduring failure time and time again is at the heart of every success. It's true for my story when it comes to healthy living because I struggled with binge eating for years. I constantly felt like I was messing up. I constantly felt discouraged. I constantly felt defeated. And I felt like I really could never stay on track and I really couldn't ever live a healthy lifestyle. But nothing could be further from the truth. I needed to give myself way more grace in order to imperfectly move forward because that's the only way we're gonna stay motivated. If you wanna change your life, if you wanna see results, if you want to start living a beautiful, healthy lifestyle, you have to let go of perfection and you have to be able to persist at moving forward imperfectly. It's time to let go of perfectionism and embrace grace because grace is gonna carry you further than grit ever could. No matter where you're at on your health and fitness journey, I want you to remember that something beautiful is on the horizon. stories and I just want to share so much with you because I just want to help you but the final thing that I want to say is stop the sprint stop trying to get to your end destination in one minute from now as silly as it seems and as silly as it sounds we really do try we, we get maybe this is just how I am I don't know maybe this is just me but I get fixated on something and then I want it and I want it now. And definitely that was true um, on my fitness journey of like really finding balance. When I went, okay, I wanna get healthy and I wanna get healthy now. And all of a sudden I felt discouraged constantly and chronically because I felt like I should be farther along and I just kept trying to get there. We just can't expect ourselves and we shouldn't try either to literally run a whole marathon in one minute. And we do that all the time. We expect to plant a seed and have it literally grow and sprout and become a tree and then eat the fruit of that tree like tomorrow. And that's just not how it works. 
We have to be able to not get discouraged when things take time because good, beautiful things take time. Fruits doesn't grow in an hour. So when, and, and I know we're using so many, I just, guys, I'm sorry. I just, I do love a good metaphor. I do love a good analogy. I do love a good story. I do love the cheesy and the cliche, but I do love the truth. And this is the truth. And this is the stuff that helps me. I hope it's helping you. And that is the thing. We have to remember this ladies. Like we really honestly do. If we expect to see results in our bodies physically, if we're just talking physically, we are not going to see them tomorrow. Like you, you just won't. But that's the other thing. Shouldn't that motivate us even more to just simply care for ourselves today, to not even worry about tomorrow, but that if I sow this and I let the sun shine and I let the rain come and I even the hard things, even the storms that come, I know it's all gonna work together and ultimately the fruit is going to be sweet. You can still be growing. You don't have to be a blooming, beautiful flower 24 seven all year long. I know for one thing that I'm not and I appreciate that so much more. I appreciate the seasons. I appreciate the hard things because I know that it's refining me. It's making me see what really, 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 really matters and what matters is the heart. First Samuel 16, seven says that the Lord doesn't look at the outward appearance. He looks at the heart and if that's where he's looking, that's where we should be looking to. If you feel discouraged today, if you feel like you're not growing, if you feel like your work is just in vain, it is not. So give yourself grace. Remember that everything takes time. Be persistent, be consistent, show up every single day with grace. I learn more and more every day how much I could just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So I'm sorry. I have something for you for free. You can literally just click I think you can click the link on this video. I'm not sure. It will literally be the first line in the description box where it is your on track starter pack. So it's basically like everything that I just talked about in this video, but even more. And it's just for you to help you to really help you remember the truths that we talked about in this video. And honestly, to just get you back up on your feet again and to encourage you and to remind you. And so it's free. Just click the link in the description box. I really remember writing it and just thinking every single day when I sat down to write like, how can this help you? And ultimately it was written really honestly from my heart to yours. I thought about the pain and the struggle and I asked you guys in one of my most recent emails. I love chatting with you guys in my emails. Every week we send out fun little we, I, as in we, I'm, I send it to you. But I feel like it's like a friendship, this ongoing conversation that we have every Wednesday. But um, anyway, I asked you guys, like, what do you struggle with? Do you, how, like, what do you struggle with, with being on track? And so, so, so many of you said comparison and guilt and feeling like, just like I constantly mess up. And, and so that is why I made this video. That's why I made the little free downloadable starter pack for on track because I want to help you more than anything. I want to help you. And I want you to see that ultimately I don't have it all together, but I've been there too. None of us is numb to pain. None of us is new to discouragement and defeat and failure and struggling with our bodies and knowing what God really does say about us. Like we are all doing this together. And if we just lock arms and move forward together, we, we're gonna go far. Like we really, really are. And one more thing I have to say, one more thing. I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart for just being you. Like seriously, thank you. I just, I really, really appreciate you. And I am so appreciative of your, of your support, but ultimately I'm so appreciative of you. And I'm so thankful that you follow along and that you, I just want you to know that God has a good plan for your life and ultimately that I love you and I'm so thankful for you. And even though maybe I've never physically talked to you or seen you, maybe this is your first time watching one of my videos. I just want you to know that there's good plans for your life and that you have a purpose and you were put on this earth for a purpose. There is beautiful things on the horizon. You are so loved and I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you. And I just am giving you a big, huge hug through my computer screen to yours or your phone or whatever screen you're watching this from. So I know I keep talking a million times and then I keep ending it and I have to say the same thing over and over. So download the starter pack, like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Goodbye, I love you, see you in my next video, bye.